if you coming up in it, it's more likely to get you more than anything. They it, they live this just like I live to fuck up. Horror movies are our life. Every day, all day, any you know, this poor goose. Coming up in it. Slow key as me. They, it, they live this. <laughs> it's more likely to get you more than anything. Like about hoodoo. You know, voodoo, hoodoo. What, what's the. You know, voodoo, hoodoo. Like about hoodoo. Like about hoodoo. Get you more than anything. Voodoo, hoodoo. Coming up in it. You know, voodoo, hoodoo. Coming up in it. You know, voodoo, hoodoo. Hey, One, hey, two, three. Hey. hey! Welcome to Gus Podcast. This is Zaino the Vizzy. Space Viking. A very exhausted low key as me. And this oh, is we the get Gus so Podcast dramatic. on the Dread Central Network. Caca! You know, they got all Bad. these, you know. A very exhausted low key as me. Hey, man, somebody. somebody, you, somebody you know what? Uh, I'm exhausted too. Somebody, uh, <laughs> posted, somebody no. posted the other day that was like, when you say the. What this year is, it says 2021. I'm like, damn, fucked up. Yeah. Wait, what? It says 2021, <laughs> like it won the fight or shit. 2021. Uh, and I'm like, man, y'all, okay. I'm like, you I know what? what? You did there. I'm like, start, I guess we're starting this year off with puns. <laughs> <laughs> we're starting it off with a little bit of razzle dazzle. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're starting off with a little razzle and then a little dazzle. Hey, are you done with my charger, man? This guy's a charger earphone. Is it working? Snatching. It's working. No, oh. that, that old swamp rat Duplantis, man. <laughs> <laughs> that boy will come up with some. He'll fix a damn mouse out of nothing. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you. I ain't even see him get under that. It's just like it's ready. Yeah, that old, yeah. That old swamp rat will make a microwave dinner out of a Thanksgiving turkey. I, mean, we got some I guess dope you got to try it too, you know. Did we get on for Christmas or not? Dude, I don't know. It feels Merry like forever. Christmas, it seems Year, like man. we... Because this year has been such a piece of turd. I know, man. We've like recorded once every, who knows? Yeah, I know. You got been COVID. Hard. We got COVID. And we got gave, COVID. I think he gave us COVID. But I, I got COVID. I, I, I was better at COVID than y'all were. Yeah. You were better at COVID. I was better at it. Yeah, well, you I mean, know he, what? he did it better, folks. I was, cam- I was fucking camping out and chasing <laughs> puppies and fucking who raising snakes. Who wore COVID snakes better? And, yeah. yeah. Well, I man, yeah, I was just trying to taste different combos of food. I mean, it's, it's yeah, no shit. Anyways, I, fuck I just, all that shit. Yeah. Welcome to fucking guts. Yes, There's we're gonna talk a, about spells. There's actually a bunch of dope horror movies that came yeah. out in the last few weeks. Yep. But what's crazy, man? They, uh, they've been coming out, and like, if you what Amazon Prime, if you catch them, they charge you. Like some some of them not trying to break you, but some of them like thirty bucks, twenty bucks here and there. But we get like you said, we're talking about spell. I think it was like six bucks. And but that's the thing is, they how don't do we have even to... find out about it? We knew about it. I we, didn't know about kept it. Getting, it was uh, don't surprise me. We kept getting uh, DMs, text messages about it. I remember Wes said something about it. Oh shit! Yeah, I don't even, it, I don't even but remember. that was like way back. It was supposed to come out actually. The release date was October 30th. I, I know because it's gonna get to a point where all of a sudden they're gonna be dropping dope shit yeah. like left and I'm right. Waiting right. On when they gonna drop? Like, I just uh, gotta say, the Conjuring Three, the Conjuring Three, uh, Candyman, your Candyman. DMs, Saw, Spiral, Saw, Spiral, man, like what's up? Your DMs look a lot different than mine. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. You owe me for that pregnancy test, you yeah. sack of shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I got this bump that popped oh, up. Yeah, the fucking it's got your name you on it. Yeah. Where's the rubbers you say you use? All I see is Roman numeral nah, packages. Bro, on the we get side some toxic head. shit in the DMs too. Man. Yeah, like yeah, shit. Man. We can't. It goes down, man. That boy, yo, got to said it right. It, it goes, goes down, down in, in the, the DMs. DMs. But yeah, yeah spell. Um, spell was the shit. It had your boy Ghost from Power in it. Now, what's his real name? A Marquis something. Uh, hold on. His real name is Amari Hardwick. Amari, how? Why the hell? Are Sounds like a basketball player. And it had my it had my girl from Urban Legend, dude. Uh, yeah. Loretta Devine. She was the security guard member on Urban Legends or Legend mm. or whatever, whatever. Yeah, and if all the ladies don't know, she played in Waiting to Exhale. Oh, of course. Hello, she, Angela Bassett. She was. I'm still ready for she's you. She's like lady. the sweetest. Like you know, like you want her to like cook you some food and give you like yeah. a hug. She's like the sweetest lady, but yeah, her character so, in this so was like I was so unex- I was so unexpected. It's like you say, like Space Bike said, I was unexpected of her. Yeah. To be who she was. Definitely, dude. But let's break. That's it down, my favorite, man. though. I love shit. I yeah. love when people like when the, 
You know, the casting Hell is yeah. different. Like, we're, like remember with Ma? Yeah, with Ma, exactly. exactly. Way fucking left field exactly. type shit. Well, it's got it's got some shit up in your wheelhouse, like oh, yeah. the, like about hoodoo. You'll you know, love voodoo, it. Hoodoo, yeah, hoodoo. What, yeah. What's the difference between hoodoo and voodoo? I don't know. But, like, it's kind of like, what did what old boys, uh, we were talking to Josh Milliken the other day. Shout out Josh on Dread Yo, Central. What's up, Josh? He was like, it was a mixture between the skeleton key. The skeleton key and... Uh, what did he say? But misery. It was, and misery. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. The whole story does line up like, like that. It's got yeah. that voodoo it, it, it shit. It got the vibe. It's but the vibe, man. What was, the, um, what was that movie? Was it Devil's Advocate when he was like, bring me a cow tongue? When he had a court case and he stuck the nails in it? Yeah, yeah, it's Devil's Advocate. That type of shit gives me the creeps, man. Yeah. Like that voodoo type shit. Like, it's like, or, the, it's like the, the type of shit. Of yeah, like yeah. where you have a, um, what's it called? Uh, like we have a doll of you and voodoo they stick doll. yeah voodoo, voodoo doll, doll yeah, man voodoo doll. like that's like yeah, you're that's... trapped in a doll and the thing that freaks me out about it is if they've been doing it for this long and they be- like so the people that are into it they give their lives to this yeah, thing definitely. you know what i'm saying it's not just like a thing they do on sundays like definitely. some catholics they it, they live this yeah. every day all day and they've been doing it for generations so what that tells me is there's got to be something solid behind it, and that's the scary thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just I like th- I, I lived the fuck up. Like a chick was trying to say, like if you coming up in it and you believe in it, it's more likely to get you more than anything. That's yeah. that's what the character kind of kind of was playing as he grew up into this shit. His dad was like teaching him all these rituals and stuff. So when it happened to him in the movie, it's kind of like. Oh yeah, it was bound to happen, but he got to find it. Like, if you don't believe in Scientology, you ain't going to Zena. Exactly. Zenith. Like people talking yeah. about bury your drawers in the front yard. He'll never leave the house. But being don't eat red sauce from people in Louisiana. Sorry. Well, for, being ladies. from the South, though, you know, like we got, we all like you're from Louisiana. We got relatives in Louisiana. My stepdad's from Louisiana. Yeah, my background is like Louisiana. you. You've seen people that knew about that kind of stuff oh, yeah. before in your life being from the south or you've seen it somewhere you've gone to a store and seen a doll or Definitely. you whatever the fuck it, it's happened like you've you've seen it before here or there maybe once randomly yeah mm-hmm. but it's like or maybe i just made that up in my head either way by you and shit. well it's the whole thing of it gives you the creeps dude know it knowing something especially something dark like that but anything knowing anything dark before magic before yeah. you saw it on television or you, yeah. before you knew that everyone else knew about it yeah. and then you watch like the whole society see it through a movie and stuff like that, yeah. and it has this dark, huge, big appeal of like not just a few, a whole culture. Yeah, uh, lives behind it. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, bro. Dark magic gives me the creeps, man. Like see, putting your soul in. Which what yeah. you call the doll? The booger tea. Booger tea. Booger yeah. tea. But see, and it was she, so. It was. It started. Said, off, it started off so like epic, and like what Josh was saying too, man. Once you put somebody like. The family goes to his supposed to be going to his dad for a real sin for the last time to get it paid the respects. But once you put people in that little cockpit flying airplane, <laughs> the anxiety picks up on that shit. Cause Whoa. it's like you feeling all the turbulence, feeling all the wind, and you better do some study cases of what you flying yeah. over. Cause and you was, never know so where you funny might land. Cause he was saying too, like it got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre feel. Cause instead of pulling a van into the gas station. They pull a like, airplane into the gas station. Oh, no they got to get gas. Yeah. And here comes the gas station, like, not tenant, but yeah. the guy that's over the gas station. He start talking shit to the son. Oh, man, it was crazy, man. And it then the creepy. way they talk. It was a dope setup. It was dope setup. Well, they talked about the Booker T in that? They, they in the had movie? him. They yeah, had really? Him. They, they, had they him. set up one up for him. And, and, and um, so if you haven't seen Spell, don't listen to this, because we're yes. spoiling the well, fuck out yeah. of it. When I was a kid... That's how like your mom would get you, me yeah. and my brother and uh dude that two dudes that live behind me, Cody and Jeremy. That's how they would get us to come inside. They would say the book of tea or the rugaru would get you, yeah. and it was supposed to be the rugaru is this big flame thing, and it burns the bottom of your feet Fuck, where yeah. you can't play for another week if you uh, go yeah. in. So all that step that, on the crack, yeah. break your mama's back, well, that type that's shit. That's kind of how feet, he. Jail. Like I said, we're about to spo- <laughs> we're about no to we're shit. about to spoil this movie, <laughs> but that's so he made one. For her, but it was but oh, let's get back into when they flew into that rain crop. Yeah, so let me read that you shit the was let me crazy, read you the guys. synopsis. Read uh, the synopsis. Igor, get us a snack. Yes, master. All right, so sorry, I just wanted to bring Igor in the mix. That's good stuff. <laughs> yeah, Igor, you fucking bitch. Get back right. in the box, gimp. No shit. Go play <laughs> with the troll. Yes, master. Okay, Igor's on the snacks. Back in the box, so, gimp. So uh, 
while flying to his father's funeral in rural Appalachia. An intense what storm. Rural what? Rural Appalachia. Holy. Oh, uh, what the fuck? An intense storm causes Marquise to lose control of the plane carrying himself and the family. He soon awakens wounded, alone and trapped in Miss Eloise's attic. Eloise claims she can nurse him back to health with a hoodoo figure she's made from his blood and skin. Unable to call for help, Marquise desperately tries to break free from her dark magic and save his family from a sinister ritual before the rise of the blood moon. Liddy. Yeah, super lit. Yeah. Dope. That's so fucking sick, dog. Dope, dog. Because I, I like the, I like the fact like when they flew into the... And shout out to... Uh, Who's the director that made it? Shout out to him for not having to waste as much time on the actual plane crash. Oh that, yeah, that shit would have been like too much. So it's like in the in the storm, Who plane directed hits, it? rocking and rolling. Mark Tundurai. Boom, he wakes up in bed. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, Mark, uh, Mark Tundurai, the yeah. homie. Yeah, 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 I know him. <laughs> yeah, the homie. Oh, Mark Tundurai. Yeah, yeah. I went to school with that fool. As a matter of fact, yeah. motherfucker owe me thirty six, no thirty seven dollars. Yeah. yeah, no shit. Yeah, he so owed me for an Uber he, ride one time. I paid him home. He was so fucked up. When he wakes up in the bed, she comes into the room, yeah. like, and awakes him. You know, and he's in distray. He's like, you know, what the hell going on? His foot damaged. The first thing a man, you know, wake up, you're looking for your family. Hey, man, where my, where my family at? She talk, oh, I didn't see nobody in that rubber she was in talking noise to her. But, man, when, she, when he was, like, getting all disoriented, she already had, like, a little little spell voodoo spray. She blew it in his face to come back. To oh, oh, no yeah, shit. Him with that. Fucking no, And it made him just go stiff. Yeah, she had, like, some powder medicine in her hand, and she yeah. opened it and goes, yeah, yeah, man, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta right. come, man. He, gotta. Was getting, he was like, wait, wait, now, hold on, now. I need my family. Yeah, you know, he was getting, and she seemed like a sweet lady. Yeah, she like, seemed like she was taking Ooh. care of him. Like she was taking care of him. So nice. You don't worry about them. We're gonna find, them. you know. Blah, blah, yeah. Blah. And then he's like, hold on, and he cursed, and she goes, well, oh. Yeah. And then she hit him with that. Yeah, hey, yeah. And, and she, that's when I was like, yeah, instantly I'm in it. this movie, bro. Y'all want to hear something crazy? Always. So <laughs> we were, we were, uh. You know, they in New Orleans and on uh, in Midtown they do the seances and you could go and watch them. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people are like, oh, they're just doing that, you know, just for fucking fun or whatever. So we were down there one time and it was after a rave and it was like probably two o'clock on Sunday, right? So we go down there, hey, let's go check it out, right? And we're all standing around and shit. And there's only about seven outside people that are there watching it, right? And my homeboy Jeff Dukes is right there. And the old girl's doing her thing, and she starts, you know, what it is is like, you know, three or four people go in a circle, and they dance, and they start screaming at this part of the thing, right? Mm. And it's kind of like, it's a lot, because it's so intense, and that, they're not playing around. They're fucking into it. They don't care that you're there. They don't care who's, it's, they're into it, right? So, Dukes goes in, and he's kind of getting through the crowd closer and closer and one of them girls turns around and blows a cloud of white shit in his face oh, man, cocaine. yeah that's cocaine folks and like cocaine. what did he, what did he do he started him? getting like he like backed up and oh, he started shit. like getting pissed and he didn't know what to do yeah. you know what i'm saying he started getting pissed that's kind of what old buddy does in this and movie. getting freaked out and getting yeah and like these two dudes like pulled him out dudes that we went we were there there were there was like five of us and there were like three other people that we didn't know, but they were outsiders. Uh, yeah. And two of those dudes like pulled him out and they're like, Hey bro, you okay? Yeah. That's freaky dog. Yeah. Yeah. So, the, uh, the, um, the, uh, Igor, get us a snack. So I don't know. Like, so, uh, you go tonight. E- go I, I think, be all right. Yeah. Here you go, master. Here's a toaster strudel. Thanks, Igor. Now suck. <laughs> Oh shit, Eagle. Right. Well, <laughs> well getting back hey, that what's crazy? All right, so, so quickly. in the in the movie she had this she had a guy that actually like he looked like he worked with her. He was like a servant or something, but if you know during the movie she already has him hypnotized. Oh, she's the, already the, having a that... dog for him. Yeah. So she called him in, he big, huge, massive guy. Oh, yeah. So when he came into the room, she was like, hey, he looked like he's slow, but ain't nothing slow about him. So when she claps her hands, he does whatever she tells him to do. So yeah. he clapped her hands, and she just went and picked him up about the bed and, like, strapped yeah, him back down. Yeah, she's got, like, like, her... her Dude. But he was so, on their team, though, right? Or he was hypnotized? 
No, he was. He had. She already had a dog for him. Like oh, so he was. Oh. When you when you realize she had a dog for who? Her, the the big guy, the big swole. Yeah, yeah. You don't remember at the well, end? She had a dog for all of them, but she hides hers. But yeah, oh buddy. So he, he first he's like he like realizes he's, he's trapped. Yes, he realizes he's trapped. So he's kind of like, oh, something ain't right. Can't so move. Foot out, all busted up. Yeah, his foot. He looks at his foot. And the gore on this was yeah. dope, dog. Yeah. They had like a fucking seven inch long nail. Yeah, stuck in the bottom of All in his heel, all the way up it, dude. But see, she did that so he won't be able to walk. Yeah. He'll, when he stepped down, it feel like a limp. Yeah. So he's like, what the hell's going on? At first you think it's from the plane crash. Yeah. yeah. But, it's fr- but she has a nail in it. Yeah. Dude. So he pulls it out, gets up on the roof, and he's trying to let, but then he hears commotion. He's watching from the roof. But that's what and they're showed doing, him his dog. Remember, yeah. Showed him his dog. They're doing well. They're doing rituals on yeah. shit, and they're like, "There's a there's a blind man, and they take cat's eyes, and they and his yeah. eyes are all like cut up." And they but put the lady these, first. They took the cat tongue out of her yeah. mouth, out of his mouth, and then and then all of a sudden she can talk. Yeah. And then they and they Fucking put the cat's nuts. eyes on this old blind dude, and it looks weird, you know, because they yeah. just put eyeballs. And he's on like, it. "What do you see?" And then, what do you see? Ooh. And he points up at him, and he's up on the roof. Oh, like spying yeah. on him or something. He, he, Bugs out. He runs back to the room, and, yeah, I, and, and he puts the, the nail back in him. I think was that that part. I don't oh, know. I'm probably oh, fucking he, up the he still, but. he fucking up. But he still had the nail in him right there. He was crawling up. But when he came back into the room, she walks back in and was like, "Did you move? You know what I'm saying?" She see the window open. He all wet. The the doll is wet. But she's like, "Did you move?" He's like, "Nah, I'm just kind of over here thinking about my family." Blah blah blah. It's like some crazy shit. And she's like, oh, "Okay, you know what I'm saying." Lock the door. But the reason why she was locking the door, once he once he was able to like get out, that's when he removed the nail out of his foot. Oh, yeah. He removed yeah, yeah. it out of his foot. That's when he did it. He walking around, like finding different shit. Cause he woke up one morning and was like, hey, something was beeping like a cell phone. She like, you know, we don't, we don't have nothing like that in this house like yeah. that. And he like, man, I well, it sounded like somebody could be trying to find me, you know what I'm saying? But what's crazy, when he walked without the nail, and they came back. He had to stick the nail back in his fucking foot. Oh, and wrap his foot up. The gore was dope, nuts. dog. The gore, nuts, man. Yeah, we were we were talking with uh, the homie Josh, man. Yeah, and he was like, "Oh, that he was like that foot scene." Man, that foot he was scene like, take his he was out, like, man. I was watching it, like, no, why, <laughs> you know? But there, but also like, they feed they feed him his his, his son's hand. Yeah. Come on. So he's he's in there so hungry. He's eating he like the food tasted so delicious but what made him understand what he was doing when he spit it out it had his son his hand tap he saw the he had a hand and then he finally looked down at the bones he goes play with these bones and it's a whole hand and it's and it's his son's had a crooked finger from ball like a jam finger and you could see it nuts dog it was lit nuts 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 but what was so crazy he he actually got down to get a cell phone Mm-hmm. Goes back in the room. He makes a phone call to the police. His cell phone about to die. Got the cop coming to the house. She comes in the room, grabs the Booker T doll, and smacks it, man. When she smacks it, he flew across the bed. Oh, yeah. She gets the rope. Oh. She gets the rope, ties him up. Yeah. And then she takes the tongue out the Booker T doll so he can't speak. You so know what he's that- like fucking silent. He's on the phone screaming they can't hear him. Is fucking. You know what that reminded me of in Get Out. Yeah, when he was when he was going at her, and she hit him with that teacup. Definitely, man. And he's like, just knock him out. He's instantly floored. And then he eventually gets out, but he's walking like because he because he got the the strings around him, but he grabbed his Booker T doll. But once he goes to the road and finds the sheriff, it's like the sheriff brings him right back to the lady. No, like fucking. Cause he's in on Nuts. it. It's like some House of a Thousand Corpses. Oh show. man! And yeah. then when they pull up, it's like all the all the people that you really didn't see part of the land waiting on the on the red moon. They always there because he's the sacrifice that they need to make them like supposedly heal each other. Man. Yeah, and then so it's like this whole cult of people. Yes. But then he finds a picture from the eighteen early eighteen yeah. hundreds, dude, and it's them. So they've been, you know, what they've they're. Been, well, I think what they were doing was trying to. Take his soul or take his body. It's something that's for the how the moon to make them like be able to live long and, to live and forever. be able to help all other people around. But as he goes into this basement filled with all kind of spells and different stuff, he finds other corpses 
Damn. She cut this one dude's penis off. Oh, oh yeah, man. there was a, just a random she, she dick. She cut his eyes she off. She put the dick on something else. Kind of shit, man. So it was just like, what the? Kind of like me. Like, I'll be, like I'll you be, do. I'll be putting the dick on things. <laughs> <laughs> but he found it, and when he started mixing up his shit, because he knew how to do it from when his dad told him, which mm-hmm. I thought was pretty, I thought was dope as hell. Yeah, the backstory. So when they bring him into the, sacri- the sacrifice room, finally seeing his family. They under just, yeah. they under the spell like hard. Oh, so they, are they dead? They're alive. They're, they're alive, alive, but they're, they they're under, spell, under a spell. And what he did, so, yeah, the backstory was he was abused by his father hard, but what yeah. you realize, because his dad practiced that shit. Yeah, and his dad was trying to teach him that shit, but he didn't want to learn. And it. so he got abused, and the lady was even like, i seen the scars on your body. You from yeah. this place. And yeah. the, he's ah, from there. Yeah. So he's going back to his dad's funeral. So like, you're a city boy. boy. <laughs> yeah. So he's like some successful business dude right? of course so um, like you do like you do yeah no shit so um, oh mike so predictable yeah <laughs> yeah she didn't know he was really ghost from power and that he was coming he was coming <laughs> to slang shit. keys to the appalachian mountains <laughs> yeah yeah coming to get the dope and so, shit yeah so um so he okey dokes her potions yeah and makes and like you know because she he knows she was like, she was like, I got, I can bring you up, down, and spin your head around, like with her different. She has uppers and downers in her little hand smoke potions, so he okey dokes the potions, so where she tries to blow it on him, thinking he's gonna knock out, he actually ramps him up. Yeah. And then he had made a secret uh, Booker T doll of her, of her. Yeah. And he out of her hair and shit, and he wrapped it, and he made one because he knew, and he pulled it out, and bow, knocked and flew her around the room. And then he sealed her. The barn was burning, and he sealed her in with salt, and she fucking melted alive, dude. Wow, yeah. it was dope. Dog. See what was crazy about that too? What was so good? That ending was he, creepy. He ended up getting like when she tried to attack him and approach him, he already had the big guy's book of tea doll in the water. So when he put him face down in this tub of water, when he got on top of him trying to choke him, he just started spitting out nothing but water. You like what the hell going on? She find his dog face down in the water. So when she come in, uh, so when she come into the uh she comes into the barn, he blows the smoke in her face. She just still he grabs her book of tea the hall and hit that with a hammer dog. God flies her That's ass. That's what I'm saying. Like when room. all this shit happened, why don't nobody just punch this lady in the face? But shit, she got you under these spells. She's she got the power, dude. To touch you. She's uh, a witch. And as long basically. as your doll is not doing nothing active, yeah. she got control over you. She got your doll, man. She got she got your she's got your pubes all in a hanky and she made a special (laughs) potion and now you're fucked okay she's gonna know when to smack it up flip it she's gonna know how to rub it down so this uh this the screenplay is done by it's got to be good because it's done by the you know who Kirk Wimmer is nope well he did a little thing called Equilibrium and Lot of Buying Citizen and Total Recall oh the remake of Total Recall. Uh, you're a remake of Total Recall. How about that? <laughs> I've been asshole. told that my whole life, man. That, that's a really sensitive issue for me. Please don't tell me I have a remake because I've been called a remake my whole life. So Point Break, Children of the Corn. The, the OG other, Point Break? Uh, Both of them. Uh, uh, Street he's Kings. He's a big fan of re- remake. Yeah. Keanu Reeves. He's yeah. Keanu Reeves and Street Kings. I'm Keanu. You're a big fan. Fucking Keanu Reeves. <laughs> All right. Listen to, this re- <laughs> listen to this review of it. That This lady didn't get it. I wish there had been more commentary on class and the sort of city versus rural folks and maybe less of the gore that really didn't seem to achieve much purpose. Like, lady, do you know what horror movies are? Well, here's the response to that comment. I wish you would take your reserved comments and <laughs> shove them squarely up your yeah. half-swollen vagina, yeah. you stupid, you stupid idiot. Bitch. Um, but it was dope, man. I, yeah, it was dope. Let's take it, it to the guts factors. Yeah, definitely. All right, number one. Keep us off our phone. Off, keep us off the phone. Definitely. Um, I was on my phone. I wasn't on my phone. I'd say 80%. I wanted to see it. The second time I watched it, yeah, because I already watched it, but. I was on my phone, but but the thing about it is, I like it would pull me back real quick. You know what I'm saying? Like I'd get on the phone, but yeah. then like something dope would happen, and it wasn't it wasn't um like we watched it twice because it was dope. So it wasn't like you know like oh it's so boring. So keep it off the phone factor by seventy five percent, seventy five eighty percent. Yeah, it, right. it depends on how the movie gets you. Because me yeah. personally, I read like the I read what he was just reading. I was like oh shit, it's about voodoo. 
Yeah. I'm in there. Yeah. So I'm like, hey. Yeah, like, I was looking up shit, shit like that on the phone while, you know, like, nerding the fuck out while we watched so, it. number two. Off the rip. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. it um, it, because his wife is hot. He's, like, smacking her on the butt and messing with her. So it gets you in. No butt. You kind of realize he's, like, a success yes. dude. Like, I'm yeah. driven and I'm in business meetings. And then, um, so number three, creepy slash scary vibes. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I think it's yeah. got, when she blew got that a, yeah. medicine like in his has face. A shitload of that, yeah. right. It was the whole vibe of the guy at the gas station. I was like, oh shit, it's about to happen at this gas station. And the plane crashed and waking up in a house is like, bro, that shit is creepy as fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You wake up in a house, you're like, man, what the hell am I? I'm not in the hospital. You start messing with voodoo. You start messing with, you know, like possessed troll dolls and shit, it that that'll always get my spooky boner. Point it up and ready to fuck. Next, uh, kills, the kills. Um, there was a there was. I think we need to like make the make make the kills be kills slash gore. That's what I was just about to say. Because the gore was dope. Yeah. There wasn't too many people dying all over the place because it wasn't that kind of movie. It's not do a slasher. You, do you agree, Igor? Yes, there was plenty of gore. And it, shut the fuck up, Igor. <laughs> All right, no one fucking asked you. So, um, actually, I asked him. Oh, okay, go ahead, Igor. Yes, the use of shut gore. the fuck up, oh. Igor. <laughs> All right, yeah. So it was dope gore. Um, the um, yeah, the gore was dope, and then the kill at the end was dope. You know, when he started, when it shit started getting ramped up at the end, it's so hard to concentrate. When we're watching Rob Zombie's Halloween right now, and there's a fucking yeah. like horrible rape scene going on it's on the bit. TV, oh, we're like, I'm it's trying to much. fucking talk about Book of T. And uh, ending's the last one, right? Ending. Ending was dope. Ending was dope. Ending was dope. Her, cause her doll. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Kind of blinks or something. The, eh, eh, yeah. Don't say it. Okay. Edit yeah, that out. Edit. edit that but out. yeah, the ending was dope. Ending was dope. Cause I, I feel like you know it wasn't. Because he went be through part enough. Two. That's basically what I'm saying. It's, it, it, to me, the ending was live, man. It, it From beginning to end, man, it's a dope-ass movie. Yeah. If you, I if, love Loretta Divine, man. Yeah, man. If you're into, like, she, the, she, the witchcraft, the voodoo style, yeah. the all that, the captivity style, it's a definitely go check it out, man. It, it definitely. So, me, I say, I say not full decapitation. Maybe a loss. Of, yeah, definitely a beat. Loss of limb. Yeah. Good flick, dude. Solid flick. It's a solid movie. Some good to ones me, if it had been full yeah. capitation, it would have shown what happened to the family. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And yeah. the plane crash. Other it, than that. Yeah. But that's how you get three hour movies and shit. Yeah, yeah. man. It'd be too yeah. long. It'd be yeah. too long, man. I don't want to see all that. It, you know what I'm saying? It it the was the director was dope for that. It it was kind of hypnotic in a way. Like it like yeah. it you know, you're what and then you kinda get back to it. Like it's like you know what? You're hypnotic. You know what? Hypnotic. They call me Magic Dick. All right. Hypnotic. Jesus. So yeah. Uh, Is that can I to get? Fuckery? Yeah. Somebody knock on that door and see if any fuckeries out there. Invite that Eagle shit. Eagle knock on the door. Yes, master. Okay, that's enough of that shit. It's time for fuckerino, baby. <laughs> fuckery. Are we ready, ready for fuckery? Boy. Fucking yes. right. Are we ready for fuckery? Yep. This Just week on fuckery. Tales from the Cat. Gruesome gore. <laughs> so, big shout out. This was a dope uh, little indie flick, man. Shout out to uh, Planet Nine Films who follow us on IG. They made this. I just stumbled across it on Amazon. And when the Planet Nine Films, I was like, oh, shit. We're friends on, on, in the interwebs. Mm-hmm. And so we posted it. It, it was dope, dude. It's uh, so... It starts, it's like, it's anthology, which I love. And the tales were dope. It starts out in like, if you, if you get it, like you'll enjoy it. You know, of course it's, it's gonna, doesn't have the biggest budget in the world. It's indie horror, but it's, the stories were dope. Like the first story was, um, like a farm where they farm women, like for their like boob milk (laughs) to make like a skin cream. And they have them like in cages and stuff it was fucked up dude Whoa. and every time they have a kid they like take it and they like threw the kid in the trash can and shit it was like it was crazy um but it starts off so he's like a horror host you know like the horror host from public access it's kind of like that and he's like welcome to the thing you know it's kind of like corny but it's like it's in a good way like if you grew up watching horror hosts and shit which i love it's like it's supposed to be kind of corny you know like 
Mm-hmm. It was dope. And uh, I, I thought it was worth the watch. Um, if you're into that kind of fuckery, check it out. Tales from the Cat. Gruesome gore. Three fa- Tales of Terror. I think I found where you... Uh, uh, I found a, a, a swimming pool of these type of movies on Tubi. <laughs> yeah, oh, Tubi's lit. Oh, yeah, yeah, Tubi the shit, man. And it's free, too. Yeah, so the, the, this is the... Tubi these are the, have, these above, are the above, stories above. that was on Tales from the right. Cat. Gruesome gore. The Herd. Dick Ripper. And, and what metal girls are into. So these slashers try to get these metal girls, fuck them up. It was dope, dog. Yeah. Fuck yeah. And shout out to Planet Nine Films, man. Um, keep doing your thing, homie. We appreciate fuck the indie yeah. indie horror keep warriors up, out man. there. Shit is sick. Yeah. Shit is sick. Keep sick as shoes on the week. Shoes on the week. Shoes on the week. Hey, this is Zaino Division. It's shoes of the week. God damn it, it's the first one of the year. Man, so we coming back live with you, man. We got the Air Raid Ray Guns. Man, I, I, like, I love that. I like that. Air Raid Ray, Ray Guns, man. So they coming out on the 15th. And we lucky this time, Those are folks. dope as fuck. We lucky this time because they are actually on Sneakers app, and I did recently see them on the Foot Lockers app. I haven't checked any other apps yet, but it's coming back. It's the, the OG is back. At a way funk and and way funked up in tribute to Nike's time traveling All Star Hoops team, the Roswell Ray Guns. The Air Raid is returning in a rarefied form. Retro Ray Guns colored embroidered accents on the and other hip details celebrates the 70s, while the style signature crisscrossing straps combined with velvety nubuck to create a re- refined off court re edition of the silhouette. There's just one question. Can you dig it? Oh, <laughs> can, can you, dig, you it? dig it? Can you dig it? That's that's so fun. And to say that, hey, this, these shoes are, are sick, man. It's like the straps are orange. The silhouette is kind of like a, a lighter orange. It's black. The air rays. It got a little. It got some green going on. It got the three stars. So I'm I'm guessing that now that I look at it, it's the it's the Roswell Ray Guns. So if you want to Google them and check them out, you'll see what kind of colorways they come with. And once again, I hate to say it, but it's not, it's $145, man. That's crazy to keep saying that's cheap because back in the days, that wasn't cheap. But $145, man, they come out on the 15th of this month. It's available at 9 a.m. on Sneakers app, but Foot Locker would have them. And I doubt it. I doubt it Foot Locker does raffle for these. Really? Yeah, I doubt it. But to me, this is like a must have in your collection. And anybody, man, I tell anybody this. If you know your shoe size and, and like Jordans and what you're wearing, but if this is your first time getting a shoe, go a half size up just to be on the safe side. But it's it's dope. And we also have some new merch. If you go check out our website. I was just about to say that. We got new comic merch. I'm, I'm For each Shoes of the Week now, we're going to have new merch that matches, that the, matches shoes. the shoe of the week. Yes. So you get the shoes and you get your gut shirt yes. to match and that helps and support be- us. You're going to be looking real nice. Get a better entertainment for y'all. And, if and you, if it'll you be like, a, if you get we're starting shoes, a gang, baby. Let's do something, man. If you get any of these shoes or any of a gut shirt, we're going to send you, and you email us or DM us, we'll send you a signed uh, color picture of us. Yeah. That'd be pretty dope. In the mail for you, man. Yeah. So, so yeah, tag us. when you If you get the shoes of the week or any kicks or of the week, any tag shirt, us, man. Let us know. Yeah. Tag us, let us know. We, but we, I'm, I'm excited about these, and I think me and Space Viking. Oh, I'm getting be, those, bro. Look at the back. Hard. The back kind of reminds me of the Jordans. Um, yeah, the sixes. Yeah, no but, real flips on those. But huh? the, the fact that it says for outdoor use on yeah. on the back of the shoe, the, dope ass shoe, man. They came back. It was like in the '90s. Had a black and gray pair. I'm pretty sure you're familiar. I love with those. that cross strap. It looks like a moon boot or nah, something. Cross that's, strap it's is like what, spacey. Is what makes the. It's shoe, like cross man. trainers mixed with Jordans. Yeah, that's one yeah. of those shoes that you don't know if it's going to be a crazy flip until they come out. Yeah, right? and, and these these are type of ones like bots are definitely because they don't sneak up. They gonna attack them. They gonna get them, and you pass up on them and then have to pay like two thirty for them or two. You gonna be like, damn man, I, you know. But that's that's how it happens now, man. But. Definitely check these out. They definitely a guts approved. I think I might switch the shoestrings out. They white. I might definitely go with like an orange or black shoe. But yeah, this is Zaino Shoes of the Week. Caca! Yeah. Conspiracy. 
Conspiracy. In the front. Conspiracy. I don't know. Oh, hey, everybody. It's yeah. Loki. has me with your conspiracy theories yeah. and true crimes of the week. And we got a massive one because a former Israeli space security chief says extraterrestrials exist. And all major world leaders know about them, including American presidents and Trump. What? A galactic federation has been waiting for humans to reach their stage of understanding, and we are not quite there yet. That's what the spaceships are saying to us through their communications. So a former Israeli space security chief, this is a real deal dude. He's been checked out. He's been vetted yeah. because this shit is coming from ABC News, NBC News, and the New Yorker. Uh, so real fucking publications have vetted this dude. He's a former Israeli space security chief, and he's come out and said that not only ha- do we know about UFOs, and not only do we have we been known about UFOs, but check this out. There is a hollow. There is a um a base on the moon on the dark side of the moon and it's hollowed out and humans and aliens have been there for over 10 years wow. working fucking. with each other wow yeah what yeah that is fucking crazy wait who said that okay <laughs> fucking idiot he's a former israeli space security chief so basically he said a, there's a there's a there's an office right now where humans and aliens are working together it's on the moon. Oh, they're, shit. they're fucking. They're fucking on the moon. I mean, fucking on the moon. And I'd hate to say if I, if I went to it and I spent enough time with a uh, with an alien, I'd probably trigger, find, try to figure out how to fuck it. You know. But yeah, uh, that's the first thing I'm trying to do is smash, bro. I'm sorry. An alien. It's an underground base in the depths of Mars, not on the moon. So, excuse the fuck out of me. Yeah, so this dude's a real deal, and he swears to God it's real. He's taken five lie detector tests, and check this out. Since he came out with it, I told you this the other day. Since he came out with this stuff, there's supposedly been three attempts on his life. Because, and he's saying, he said before people are going to try to kill him when he comes out with this information, because they've given out all these little videos of the Go Fast and the Tic Tac UFOs and shit like that to just kind of like, they want us to know that they know something to distract us from the big picture that we're really working with aliens like working in a good way or bad way i bet an alien can just come up and like et your fucking side of your dome ouch and then boom you bust a nut and shit on yourself at the same time it's wednesdays i bust a nut and shit on myself <laughs> at the same time uh it Without takes defecation i start getting ready for it on sundays <laughs> which is what i'm gonna do when i get to the house today they call that meal prep <laughs> Body fluid, body fluid and taste. They call that prep meal, oh, which geez. is reverse oh, for meal prep. Yeah, man. All the so, bodybuilders do it. Like something about Mary. But I can't s- go out with a fully loaded gun, buddy. I seriously believe that there's some shit out there that we don't know about, and I think it's not just small shit; it's big shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Did the fun- did the thing die? Oh, but thing died. Yeah. Igor, get the fucking computer fixed. I think it's. I think we don't know. I think we don't have a clue of how much shit that's out there that is been being hidden from us. I really do believe that. So, that being said, who's to say this fucking crazy Israeli dude is wrong, you know? The fact that he's such a like important figure, it, it's either true or he's completely lost it. Well, my thing is is it, what I all what always happens like it's happened in the the whole Hillary Clinton thing and when people try to come out with the truth, if people try to kill him after it's usually they're saying something that's pretty big. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And it happens every time, you know? Yeah. I mean, the Hillary Clinton body counts up to like 107 now. Huh. Bitch be killing motherfuckers. Hillary Clinton, Ow. she's got a deadly snatch that no vermin will surpass. Good God. <laughs> Shut up, Igor. Shut up, you are. Man, so glad to be back. Yes, man. So we got... Uh, Live from the guts layer, baby. Uh, go check out the uh, new merch, man, and new uh, new video. Oh, yeah. yeah. We got new merch going. We're doing a fun thing on our IG. Check it out. We're we're showing our daily adventures. We're always oh, in a we horror got movie. two surprise guests coming. Y'all gonna really... Oh, yeah. Huge shit coming up. A lot, oh, a lot of dope hey, while we had uh, the homie DJ Scratchy Scratch got a... Uh, New podcast out called Elbows and Jumpers. Our very own Zeno Divigi is going to be on there pretty I soon. Am, I am. 
uh really dope talking sports he's killing it on twitch uh really dope dj in the city good people supports the shit out of us i guess i'll just go fuck myself speaking of fucking yourself go rate and review this podcast on apple music uh leave us a rate leave us a review scratchy scratch we got new merch dropping all the time. Like I say, we're oh, yeah. doing the thing with we the got shoes the Guts of the week. comic shirt now, which is fire. Shout out to Rich Ragsdale who designed that. If you haven't seen it yet, I've gotten six, seven calls from people saying, man, that's that's the one. Uh, yeah, check out the Guts merch. It just keeps getting better. Yes, and go YouTube, like, subscribe. Yeah. Comment like, on the podcast channel. Oh, yeah, channel. please yes. subscribe, rate, and review. It's free, and it really helps us, man. It helps us make better shows for you. And uh, also, so we're getting to that point where we're starting to get some uh, follows, starting to get some plays and shit. If you guys, anybody, if you have a small business out there and you want to, uh, you know, advertise on the show, hit me up, hit us up on the DMs. We're starting to get to where we really think we can help other people get your uh, business, you know, some views and some likes and get some shit generated for you. So if you would like to do that, hit us up, man. Yes. We'd love to have you on the show. I would yes. love to be sponsored by like some crazy shit, you know, yeah, like like oh, a shit. dick gun or something. A dick gun, like a like a dildo that'll really kill you, or oh, just Angie's shit. closet's fine. I want to be, <laughs> <laughs> or just or just Marie's yeah, hair let, and let care Timmy products. Chan sponsor us, Timmy Chan. Ooh, yeah. How dope yeah. would that would be? be? Lit, bro. Yeah. Or or what about Exotic Pop? That'd be fun. Yeah, That'd be cool yeah. yeah. Too. And, and shout out to Exotic Pop. Man, those dudes are cool as shit. They they fuck with us. All yeah. Right. yeah. Oh man, matter of fact, man, while we here, they're man, always doing stuff for the community because they did it right. We gotta give a big shout out to everybody that been fucking with us, man. Gotta give a shout out to. To Square Business Media. Shout out to Square Sacrifice Biz. Sacrifice for life. Sacrifice for self. Uh, sac- I'm saying sacrifice for Sacrifice for self. I'm tripping. Yeah, you got it. I know uh, what it Monk meant. Vision. <laughs> Monk Vision. They still killing it. Rashad Miller. Oh, yeah. FMG Tay. Man, it's like. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be in a. Uh, we got a lot of people getting it in. I'm going to be a police officer in an upcoming. Oh, yeah. That Rashad Miller video, which will be funny. They're going to be filming. And, of course, I'm going to be on the side taking my my uh stuff for guts. So. Shout out to Lord Ace. Yes, Lord Ace. Yeah. Kodo, uh, Space Kodo, City Lords. Killing it in the new videos yes. for us. Thank you guys so much. Our circle's so strong. Big yes. prayers to uh, Red, Red Feather and now. Oh, yeah. Yes. Tanya, uh, prayers Feather, for, Tan- Brody. for Tanya. Yes, man. Brody, Send man. some prayers out, man. Yeah. Get well, we, girl. We love y'all. We love you thinking about you. Get and stronger. We're going to make it through this shit, doing the shit yeah. we're doing right here for Guts Podcast. Zaino the Vigi. Space Viking. Low key as me. And I'm Igor. Oh, Bitch, shut up. <laughs> you know where the support goes? Uh, I'm Zaino the Vinci. You boy, ATX and Space Viking. Low key as me. I'm trying to figure shit out. <laughs> this changed my life forever. Yes. Yeah.